Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So of course, it is a long awaited what have I got for Christmas. My literal full subscription box this past two, three days has just been what I got for Christmas, what I got for Christmas, what I got for Christmas. So if you're watching this, props to you because I feel like it is the only thing on YouTube at the moment. But at the same time, this is like my fourth year in a row and it's kind of tradition. So I have to film it, of course. I haven't actually uploaded since like September. A lot's changed since then but yeah that's something for another video to talk about i'm a little bit late to the party obviously but i've just felt like absolute rubbish the past two days so I feel a bit better today we're gonna film it today instead it's the 28th at the moment so hopefully it'll be up soon without further ado let's jump straight on into it so i did actually film a mini one of these on tiktok in the space of like 11 seconds they show quite a few bits so a little bit more condensed down obviously it's gonna be more in depth but it shouldn't be as long as other years, fingers crossed. Obviously, because I was saying I'm not trying to brag both show off in any way, shape or form. I know I have been very spoilt this year, but I've also had a really hard two months and we went all out at Christmas, so yeah. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my main present, just because it is right next to me. And that was off my parents, and that is the iPad Air, the rose gold one. I haven't got it on me right now because it is downstairs, but it is so, so good. I've had an iPad mini since my 16th birthday, and I'm not that far off turning 21 now, so it's definitely seeing better days. So, yeah, obviously these are hella expensive, so I did pay quite a lot of money towards it because they're very, very expensive, but it is such an upgrade from the iPad mini, and if you're looking for a better ipad i would definitely recommend and then on christmas eve because i've seen you i was getting money for christmas anyway i decided to pick up an apple pencil just because i knew i wanted one to go with it anyway and um, so yeah i got it out of my christmas money before i got the christmas money and was kind of switched it and um, and yeah this is so so good i cannot draw like i just mess around with it i've got like coloring apps and things and if you can like draw and do graphics you could create some really really good stuff with it and um, there are a lot of apps some of them you have to pay for which isn't too far but yeah this was quite expensive it was like 115 pounds for what it is but the technology and everything it's worth it because it'll last a long time so now i'm just going to move on to the bits georgia got me in this huge huge bag here because they're right next to me um, and that bag is very heavy. So one of the things that she got me was actually from Louis Vuitton, which basically you do these little travel guide books. I've got the Venice one, and I think I've got the Milan one, which she also got me um, when I'd come out of hospital. And yes, yeah, so and I've got the Sydney one to add to my collection, and I just absolutely love these. And um, they're basically just a full travel guide to the city. But they're so so pretty and obviously you get like the full gift box and everything which has actually ripped slightly in the bag so that's not great but yeah thank you so much to her for this because they're well, not exactly cheap for a book now considering i'm 20 she actually also got me one of the most katie gifts you could ever buy a giant pepper pig that actually talks i'm pepper pig um yeah so i've now got a giant little pepper pig friend um to join Percy Pig and she's just very cute she's really big and we love Peppa and of course to stick with the child theme she got me a little builder bear which has actually got a strawberry scent to it and it smells like you know the one um the big bear out of Toy Story which you can get from Disney store and it's like really really strawberry scented it smells exactly like that and it's just very cute obviously it's pink in case you can't tell my entire soul is pink and then we've just got its little birth certificate here um, and it is called snuggles she also got me a ring from pandora which i'll just take off to show you i'm not sure if that is focusing but it's just this really cute love heart ring with our little diamantes in and it fits perfectly which is great um, and yeah I absolutely love that ring and she's also going to get the matching one so we've got matching rings a few makeup bits she got me the self highlighter palette by revolution absolutely adore this palette and she also got me a morphe palette a pink one which i have got on right now but it's over there and i can't quite get to it to grab it right now so yeah if i remember i'll insert a picture of it here 
Um, but thank you to her for those. She also got two sprays because she is obsessed with any sort of body spray. Um, so the first one is the Victoria's Secret Daring Peach Daisy, which I've never actually had like a peachy spray before, but the bottle is so, so pretty. And then she also got me the Shawn Mendes Signature 2, like a body spray, which I have already got a bottle of and I use it religiously because it smells so, so good. And then as well as that, she did like a stocking filler bag, which was just full of loads and loads of different sweets. And then the final thing was this little Morphe eyeshadow brush. It's the R34, which will go perfectly with the palette. And I think that was everything. So yeah, thank you so much to her for those because she really, really went like all out this year. Way too much. Then from Becca, I got the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette which is absolutely stunning it's their forever flawless one i will show you it in a second but that packaging is just so so pretty it's one of those things where it's just like a very me eyeshadow palette and those shades in there are stunning as well but all sorts of like pink and taupey colored and a few gold a few purples she knows my taste very well as you will see throughout this she also got me a pink scrunchie because I've, I say I've always got a scrunchie on my wrist. I've actually not today, but like nine days out of ten, I will have a scrunchie on my wrist. And then she also got me this little crown ring. I don't know if that's going to focus. Um, which is so, so pretty. And again, it's like all the little like diamantes and everything in it. It does actually fit like on my other fingers, but it keeps falling off. So I'll just drop my phone because it can't fall off there. So yeah, thank you so much to her for those. So moving back to what my parents got, basically my mum because she got the stuff, but you know, you know how it is. The next thing I opened, which I actually knew I was getting because I'd picked it out on Black Friday, was a Moschino bag. It's so pretty. So it's just in this like mauve coloured, um, and it's like, is it called quilted? It's like soft leather sort of. It says on it, obviously, Love Machino. And then you open it up and it's sort of like a clutch bag style inside. It's such a good size to fit bits in. And it's just so pretty. And then it's got the big gold chains. Obviously, you wear it as like a crossbody because it is a crossbody bag. And I just absolutely adore this bag. And I've also never actually owned anything from Machino except, you know, that um, fresh perfume that looks like it's in a cleaner bottle which is very appropriate with all like everyone getting dental this year the next thing that they got me was just this little pink cropped hoodie so it's just long sleeve and it is incredible because it actually like goes to the end of my arms and when you're tall you'll know the struggles of finding stuff that is actually long sleeve and reaches the end of your arms um, and then it is cropped because i do love a little cropped anything basically and of course it is pink to match my soul and then they got me a few bits from tommy hilfiger i think these are out of the kids range because they say 176 for the size which definitely isn't the size so the first one is just this long sleeve the basic tommy hilfiger logo long sleeve top which will be great in summer because i have a really bad habit of burning my like shoulders and my arm here like quite badly so that will always come in handy and then she got me one in pink which is a little bit thicker um, and it just says established new york and so it's got the logo in the middle slightly more cropped this one um, and it's not quite as long on the arms but it still fits fine and then the other thing which i did actually know i was getting because she wanted obviously for me to try it on to check it was right was a tommy hilfiger like coat so it's just in this baby pink colour. It's practically the same colour as the coat I already had from Topshop last year. But um, it's a lot warmer and a lot lighter because it's got this down and feather water repellent technology. Basically like it's a more expensive coat so it's, it's lighter but thicker if that makes sense. And um, yeah so it's just got the little logo there and then it's got it again on the arm. And it's just got a nice fur hood it fits perfectly and i've worn this every day since i got it i'm pretty sure the rest of these bits were just like stocking fillers on pajamas as well but again i've not got them on me right now to show you so first thing was the ps by invitation only nail varnish set because for some reason nail varnish is a thing that i don't have a lot of 
I mean, I do, but the majority of it is like 10 plus years old and really, really out of date. You know, when it like separates, it's just not something I spend a lot of money on. So she got me this like full collection. And then I also got this, which is so, so cute and so soft. In case you can't tell, there's a bit of a theme going on with like the plush toys. I'm gonna show you I'm definitely 20. Um, and the cheeks flash, which is really, really cute. And then it's got the big bow on the back which again is very very me and then i got some slipper socks because it basically the thing that's wrong with my heart means that you constantly have freezing cold hands and freezing cold feet like they're literal ice cubes all the time so these will come in very handy and i've never ever seen this before but it was the disney diary 2021 so it's got obviously the full calendar and then each day a full page to write what you're doing all of it is in rose gold it's pastel pink and genuinely i think this is the nicest diary i've ever seen and hopefully i mean fingers crossed i'm maybe doing a bit of traveling next year in or in the latter half of the year should we say because the way coronavirus is going at the moment nobody's gonna be going anywhere um, and then she got me two microfiber cleansing mitts um, which are just mickey and minnie mouse again something that i've never used before i've used similar ones to like fake tan obviously like they're not quite the same but yeah they're really cute and then finally i just got a mickey mouse compact mirror i always seem to struggle to open basically it's just gold with mickey mouse there we go it just opens like that so then moving on to evie she got me some snacks this is the classio fondente luisa it's something from nestle and in case you can't tell i can't read italian because it is from italy and um, should we open it I'm guessing it's just like little chocolates and then she got me i think it's like a chocolate bar chocolate fondant extra it says on the back um again from nestle to try and then she got me a carrot pen because we have a very reoccurring theme with um kevin the carrot so that's very cute and also i can never find a pen anywhere in the house so like when i was going to write christmas cards i was like i actually don't have a pen and then the last thing she got me was this little mason jar thing um, with a little bunny on it that says cute. Obviously it's in a pale pink which is so cute and yeah, it's just like that inside so thank you so much to her for those. I can never screw it back on. I think that is everything I got for Christmas this year because literally majority of people just gave me money because obviously shopping hasn't been the easiest at the moment a lot of my family are a lot lot older so they don't exactly do online shopping so it was just the easiest way so yeah i hope you have enjoyed watching this video if you have don't forget to leave a like subscribe down below and hopefully i'll be back faster than three months next time bye